The Maxisys Aedas tablet provides comprehensive coverage of Aedas calibrations, along with the advanced diagnostics capabilities and time-saving automotive service features for which the Autel's Maxisys line of tablets are known. A calibration of the lane departure warning system must be performed when This video will demonstrate how to calibrate the Lane Departure Warning System on equipped Volkswagen vehicles. Vehicle Preparation Set up and perform the calibration frame leveling procedure by following these steps. Attach the VCI to the vehicle and turn on the ignition. Ignition on, engine off. Connect the diagnostic tool to the vehicle. Tap Diagnostic. Tap the Auto VIN button on the upper left of the screen to read the vehicle identification number and identify the vehicle model and equip systems. Select ATIS Calibrate. Tap the appropriate LDW calibration. Please note, the vehicle manufacturer may market this system by another name. These vehicle preparation measures vary by vehicle and system. Please follow the preparation instructions on the Maxisys ATIS tablet to ensure accurate calibration. Place the calibration frame. The following tools are required. Autel's Calibration Frame, Pattern Board CSC 0601-01, Two Wheel Clamps with Laser Attachments, and Tape Measure. Move the calibration frame in front of the vehicle. The floor must be level. No pattern should be attached to the frame. Rotate the fine-tuning bolt to align the marked lines. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine-tuning bolt until the scale value is zero. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Align the pointer on the sliding plate with the zero marked line. Tighten the bolt to secure the sliding plate. Turn on the laser and aim the beam at the front center of the vehicle. Adjust the height of the crossbar so that it is level with the center of the front wheel. Carefully move the frame to ensure the laser beam is pointed at the front center of the vehicle. Use tape measures to ensure both sides of the crossbar are at the same specified distance to the center of the front wheels. When the frame is in position, power off the laser. Rotate the bolts on the base until they are secured to the ground. Do not over tighten. Attach the two wheel clamps to the wheels by placing the pawls outside the wheel rim and tighten. Ensure the wheel clamps are firmly secured to the wheels. Insert the connecting shaft of the laser into the clamp port. The laser calibration board should be facing the front of the vehicle. Tighten the bolt to secure the laser. Turn on the attached lasers and adjust them so the beams light the rulers on each side of the crossbar cover plate. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine tuning bolt until the rulers on each side of the crossbar plate have the same value lit by the laser. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Lift the cover plates on each end of the crossbar. Adjust attached wheel lasers to control the up and down movement of the reflected laser beam. The reflected beam must shine on at least one of the scale boards of the laser boards. Rotate the bolt left or right until the scale values lit by the reflected beam are the same on each side of the bar. Now the calibration frame is parallel to the vehicle. Close the cover plates on the crossbar. Power off lasers on the attached wheel clamps and remove clamps from wheels. Start the lane departure warning system calibration. Attach the specified pattern board onto the crossbar 
and tighten the bolt to secure it. Rotate the bolts on the base of the calibration frame. Reference the bubble level to ensure the frame remains level. Loosen the height ruler so that it touches the ground. Adjust the height of the crossbar to the height specified on the tablet. Align the pointer with the corresponding value on the B side of the height ruler. Push the ruler back to the original position and secure it. Ensure the vehicle ignition is on. Tap OK. For each of the four wheels, measure the height from the base of the wheel to the top of the wheel well above the wheel and enter the values in the spaces provided on the tablet. Tap OK. When the message displays that the calibration is successful, tap OK. If you have any questions or concerns about this procedure, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video and for being a valued Autel customer.